greed, domination, and power over others is so yesterday by Inelia Benz. One of the things I found super interesting in 2011 when I spoke publicly about the energetic split of our experience of life on Earth was the amount of people who chose at the time to go with a dark restricted paradigm and how few chose the light expansion paradigm. It would be so boring without drama and hardship here. How will people become good people without pain? You need the contrast of darkness to appreciate the light. Oneness needs darkness. We need the balance of yin and yang, light and dark, to be complete. I am a bodhisattva. How will I reach enlightenment if there is no one to support and help? I want to feel needed. If no one needs me, there is no point living. Light expansion is an utopian dream. It will never happen here. I am a warrior, and my job is to fight darkness. Are you putting me out to pasture? The reason for people to want to stay in the dark, restrictive paradigm went on and on and on. Now, it's eight years later, and the main energy towards the restrictive, malevolent, and low-frequency experience of greed, domination, and power over others is just boring, passé, and quite honestly, yesterday. Below are some more words to describe the paradigm of light-dark that has kept our species entertained and stimulated in the darkness for the past few thousand years. Do take your time and read them. The more of them you agree describe the light-dark paradigm for you and others that come to mind, the sooner we can feed the seeds of discontent toward darkness in our society and the more the seeds of growth light and excitement can take root. Yep, I am asking you to be discontent with the light-dark paradigm and just drop it. Go for the light expansion paradigm and that huge awesomeness which will result from it. Here are the words that describe the old paradigm. Antiquated, archaic, dated, demodé, fossilized, moribund, moth-eaten, Neolithic, Noachian, obsolete, out of date, outmoded, outworn, prehistoric, rusty, superannuated, banal, blah, boring, dull as dishwater, flat, flavorless, ho-hum, home drum, insipid, monotonous, pabulum, sapless, tame, Tedious, unexciting, uninspiring, uninteresting, unstimulating, vanilla, vapid, waterish, weak, wimpy, wishy-washy. It is just so yesterday. The people who believe in the dark restrictive paradigm are shrinking both in numbers and influence. There are less and less people on the planet who are okay with greed, domination, and power over others. Just look at the Me Too movement. The whole world saying, enough of that shit. Pardon my language. As you probably know, I hang out at our empowerment platform, Walk With Me Now. And I also spend a lot of time with my students and mentorees. This means that every day, I am witness to stories of excitement, growth, a huge success in life, work, love, enlightenment, and empowerment. Every day someone will have a breakthrough, and I get to hear about it. Some individuals have gone from living in stress, unhappy with their lot, to living in a state of happiness, enlightenment, and satisfaction. How did they do it? They change their mind about embodying the old paradigm and feeding it with low-frequency experiences and co-creations, and instead, they are embodying the high-frequency selves. That's it. I know, I know, it sounds super easy, and I know and have seen that it is not super easy. 
It's kind of difficult when done alone, surrounded by negative creators. I've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt and gave it back for a refund. You are not alone though. Even if we have never met in person, you and me are both on this planet. We are both tired of the old passé crap and ready to embody the real deal, the real life we are meant to experience here on this beautiful planet Earth. I am ready to explore the universe and the multiverse instead of exploring dramas and low-frequency engagements with those who can't get enough of them. My reality is filled with high-frequency supportive people. It is filled with beautiful forests, oceans and clean, fresh air. My water runs free of chemicals and my eggs come from happy hands who have names and a full life. And guess what? That's my idea of heaven. That's why I have it now. I also get to expand my mystical skills, explore them with my students. I get to hear Gaia's whispers in the rocks, trees, wind, animals and plants. I get to sit in wonderment and awe at the beauty in every day and every person I meet. It's awesome. If you are creating a life that is high frequency, beautiful, expansive, exciting, inspiring, filled with treasures and explorations, discoveries and gems, you are welcome to share it with me. The old paradigm of light-dark conflict is and add your adjective here, and so yesterday. Let's step into today. If you like this article, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification button.